The blockchain is a big file that keeps track of all Bitcoin transactions ever made. So if you own some Bitcoins, all it means is that the blockchain has references to transactions that were made to your Bitcoin address. The term for these references is inputs. Now let's say you entered a store to buy a watch for one Bitcoin. Instead of taking out actual cash from your pocket and paying for something, you just tell a seller, here are the references that I have this money, or here are my inputs. What you mean is, here are previous transactions sent to me that add up to one Bitcoin or more. This is called an output. So each output is compiled out of one or more previous inputs. Once you use an input to pay for something, it is considered spent, and you can't use it again for other outputs. Bitcoin rules state that you can't use just part of an input. So if, for example, I wanted to send the seller one Bitcoin, and the only input or reference I have is from someone who previously sent me 1.5 Bitcoins, I will have to use all of this input and return the change back to my original address as a new input. So I will use my 1.5 Bitcoins input, pay one Bitcoin to the seller, pay a miner's fee, and return the rest to my original address. Now for a real life example. If you examine the inputs closely, you will see that the output consists of an input of 0.142 Bitcoins. 0.005 Bitcoins were sent to someone else, a miner's fee of 0.0001 Bitcoins was deducted, and the rest of the money was sent back to the original address. That's why you'll see some additional coins sent with your transactions. These coins will be sent back to your change address, which you can configure manually inside of your wallet. If you want to inquire more about specific inputs, you can enable advanced mode in blockchain, track inputs, and see which inputs have been spent or not. For more information and videos about Bitcoin, visit 99bitcoins.com. All the information you need to get started with Bitcoin today.